Okay, guys, um, John and uh, Matt, since we communicated, uh, I think, back in February and March after SolidWorks World about this, I think there's uh, a little bit of excitement about the fact that other people are doing something very similar to what I'm doing. I think you guys are a little bit further along in this uh, development, but the desire here is to have a top-down part or a top-down sketch at the top of your uh, feature manager tree that uh, defines uh, some basic uh, elements of shared geometry below that and the basic size and shape of the model, whatever you happen to be designing. So John, I was telling you about my sheet metal design, which is driven by this uh, 3D skeleton sketch in the background. You know, very simple, it's just one sketch in this one part. And then I added more stuff in here too, which I'll talk about later, but that's our 3D uh, sketch uh, design envelope, as I used to call it when I designed this for a client a few years ago, or uh, you know, a design sketch or sketch skeleton. I think all those uh, elements in there, and maybe the sketch skeleton is probably a little bit uh, more descriptive. And I really like the way that sounds. I think you guys have been using that longer than I have. So I kind of uh, adopted your terminology, but haven't changed the model yet. But essentially, that uh, defines, that 3D sketch defines the basic size and shape of our model and defines uh, for the various uh, elements that we have in here where the cutouts are going to be for instrumentation or a fan over here or maybe a, you know, a, a filter which goes in the back back here. That's uh, what that does. And uh, this happens to be a sheet metal design as we put together. But again, it's driven by that top-down uh, sketch in that part at the very top of our tree. So the question is... Um, I have uh, something that's a little bit different in here, as I was talking to John about. Uh, this is actually a solid extrusion in here, which defines the basic size and shape of the model. But we've taken all the elements out of this 3D sketch and broken it up into different, uh, different sketches, 2D sketches rather than a 3D sketch. I think, John, you did this a little bit too with your cabinet. You have a lot of 2D sketches instead of one big 3D sketch. But uh, the, the question to you is, is, what do we call something like this? If we go to the 3D sketch up here, which is the design envelope here on the left side, and over here I recreated that uh, using this uh, different way of doing it, I have a, a basic extrude, which has uh, you know the basic size and shape of the model, plus I have my front sketch, have my top sketch, my right sketch, uh, the back sketch, and the bottom sketch in here too, which defines all the elements that are going to be associated, uh, and uh, you know they need to reference geometry in order to put in uh, you know the the cutouts and the shared holes, and the shared holes are the big thing. I mean, it's easy to you know to redo your sheet metal parts in here to make a it fit. It's a little bit of an iteration back and forth if you go back between the part and the assembly. But as we know, uh, defining this in a 3D sketch is uh, actually a very convenient thing to do, where all you have to do is change a couple of dimensions and all the parts update. It's very, very quick. It's the reason why we developed something like this. But the shared holes are actually something that uh, it becomes very valuable in here. So here's a shared hole location for that point in here. We have something very similar over here, too, where we have the shared holes. Uh, on top of uh, the sketch, which is going to be our top sketch up here. And inside of that top sketch is going to be some sketch blocks. I'll cover that here in just a little bit. But you can see the 3D model in here, which is green in the background. If we were to take that 3D model, maybe hide that a little bit. Now you can see where those shared holes are. So it actually goes through that. And if we were to go back to that sketch block and change that to a different dimension, all those holes are going to update too. And it's going to go through both of those parts. That's the advantage. So the question to you is, what do we call something like this? I'm kind of at a, at a loss. I just wanted to kind of uh, approach you guys about that and see what you think. Uh, the 3D design envelope uh, sketch, the 3D sketch up here. I mean, if we call that a skeleton sketch, very descriptive. I like that name. But what about these other elements in here, too, which I call the base feature in our front sketch, top sketch, right sketch, bottom sketch. What do we call that? What do we call these uh, items in here? Let me know what you think. I think the word top needs to be put in there because we have a top-down design, like top sketches or top geometry or top-driven geometry. Well, what do you guys think about that? I would like to create a SOLIDWORKS World uh, presentation on this too. Probably not going to be able to do that for next year, but maybe the following year. And I'm going to go back to my original client and uh, kind of sell them on this concept. But actually, it works out pretty good. But let me know what you would call something like this. I would appreciate your input.